What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to walk you through a client case study of a website and SEO campaign that we ran for a local ear, nose and throat clinic down in Utah. So let's get into it. All right, everyone, I've really been liking sharing these case studies with you and I'm excited to dive into this one. I want to talk about first off the website and the thought process behind the site. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the SEO campaign and what we did to get the site to rank at a local level. And then we'll show you the results at the very end. So stay tuned for that. So here we are on the website and you're going to notice um, first off that we took this website from a template that the client really liked. Um, it's a Webflow template called Doctoria. And we took this and basically customized it out, customized the content, a few of the images. And so it was a pretty quick build, right? And there were a couple of things that we wanted to make sure that we had in the site that I think are gonna be really useful for all of us to keep this in mind when we're building out local business websites. And the first is we wanna make sure that all the contact information is really, really accessible to everyone. And when it comes to these types of local service businesses, it's not quite as important to have some huge value proposition because in reality, if somebody's on this type of website, they're coming to the site in order to take up services, right? And to pay this company for whatever it is they're offering. So we wanna make sure that it's as easy and appealing and smooth as possible for them to contact this business. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is we've got phone number and email up in the top. We've got a schedule appointment call to action. We've got another call now to schedule. We've got um, a button that is not as obvious here to download forms. And then as you scroll down, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the contact information and addresses of the two different offices along with the office hours. And so we're essentially creating this, you know, or building this homepage out to look like a listing of this business because when people land here, they wanna know exactly what they need to do in order to set an appointment and then get in the door. And so down below, you're gonna see more information on the doctor, um, a couple additional you know, snippets of, of content. But then at the very bottom, you've got fill out the form to contact us. And then again, you've got all of our contact information along with our addresses and links to access um, directions or to call directly from your phone. So this site is very clean. We went with a blue, um, a very light blue, because to me that um, not only kind of expresses medical, but it expresses clean and safe and friendly. And you can see up here at the very top, there is an update um, just reassuring people that it is a safe and sanitary environment for them to come in. And so that was one thing that we really wanted to convey on this homepage. But besides that, it's, it's nothing too special. Now, you'll be able to thumb through this site a little bit more, but you can see we've got different pages for the different specialties or um, medical services that we offer. And as I click on these, you're gonna see that we um, are targeting keywords, nasal obstruction, Utah, and then we've got content for all of these. And so we built out these pages. We've got a staff page, which is very simple right now. It just has the main doctor. We've got our blog, a place to directly download all of your forms. And then we have, of course, our contact button. And so again, it's a very simple website, but we built this with a purpose, right? We wanted this to be something really clean where we could build out service pages, and target different keywords, but at the end of the day, we don't want people to get lost in our website. We want them to contact us at all costs. And so I feel like we were able to accomplish that with our design here. So the next thing that I wanna to touch on briefly is that content, because we have gone really heavy on the content you're gonna find within our blog. We've got a ton of really useful articles. Now, a lot of times when it comes to SEO, I'll tell local businesses, it's not worth it to just pump out content pieces for no reason, right? You need to have a purpose behind it and so all of these either have outbound links or a few of these, for example, this one right here, this was an article that went viral, so to speak, and got something like 40,000 visitors to this article. And so creating really useful content that gets reshared, um, it's going to build the overall authority of your website. And so be really specific and have a goal and a purpose behind your content, but by doing that, um, providing a ton of value in these articles is going to be really, really useful for your site. And the same goes for our specialties content. We built this out with keywords and traffic in mind. 
But again, we're not wasting resources on these because there are other places where we need to create content, primarily when it comes to backlinks or guest posts. So when it comes to the SEO for this website, um, it's important to acknowledge that this site started out from scratch. There was absolutely zero traffic. There was no presence on Google My Business, no reviews, no calls, no form submissions, nothing. And so we really did start this from scratch. And you can see here that because of our content articles, we are getting a ton of organic traffic. Um, you can see here in the last 28 days, um, over 9,000 users. And as I scroll down here, you're going to find that all of this is either direct or organic. And so what that means is this isn't traffic being paid for by ads, it's not coming from social media. We've been able to generate all of this traffic purely from our organic efforts. Now, with that said, I do think it's important to address the fact that not all of this, um, not all of this traffic is going to result in new patients. In fact, most of it will not. Um, that article that we had go viral, um, those people that are reading that are probably not in the cities where this ENT clinic resides. However, it's continually building domain authority and it's making it so this site has a better chance to pull up locally both in the maps and in the organic rankings. And so some things that we put a big focus on are our backlinks, which I will have a screenshot right here where you can see the list of all of the backlinks that we were able to acquire. And every month we're acquiring more of these, we're creating the content, we're doing the outreach, and then we are getting backlinks to our site. Uh, we've also run all of our site audits and are continually improving the on-page optimization of the site. And so by doing a couple of these simple things, you can see huge results when it comes to your organic traffic. So when it comes to results, I've already shown you how much of this organic traffic we've been able to generate. But the other thing that I want to focus on is our maps listings and how well we're doing on Google My Business. And so I've got our insights pulled up here. And keep in mind, there are two different locations, but I've got here on the first location, our customer actions pulled up over the, the last quarter, so the last three months. And you can see here that this is aside from all of our organic reach, aside from anything else that we're doing, um, our total website visits, 110, requesting directions, 32, and direct calls, 156. And on the other location, you can see here over the last quarter, 151 site visits, 87 direction requests, and 172 calls directly into the office. And so you can imagine how thrilled the client is going from absolutely no online presence to being able to accomplish all of this with a pretty mild SEO campaign. Now, this is something that I want to address, but I don't wanna make a huge deal about this because we no longer do these smaller SEO campaigns, but this client was a much smaller, lower budget SEO campaign, and we were still able to get incredible results from them. By doing this, we've gotten them to pull up for a ton of different high value keywords in the specific cities that they are located in as well as surrounding cities. And so by generating this traffic and getting these people in through the maps, through the organic search to our website, people are filling out a lot of forms on our website and they're calling the different offices from the website as well. And so we've been able to generate a lot of buzz and a lot of, um, a lot of new patients for this client. And all that comes down to the quality of the website and then just doing those small and simple tasks when it comes to your local SEO. So optimizing your Google My Business listings and running audits and health audits on your website and making sure that all of your on-page optimization is done, which is something that can easily be done through a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs. Um, and then taking the time and the effort to do your outreach and build guest posts with backlinks back to your client these truly are the only things that you need to help a local business like this truly succeed and see new clients, customers, or patients. So the last thing that I'll say is it has been a joy to work with the team at the Ear, Nose, and Throat Clinic down in Utah. Every step of the process has been fantastic. They've been super easy to work with, and I look forward to seeing their future progress and results. If you have found any value in this case study, please be sure to hit that like button so I know if this is the type of content that you like to see. Um, this is kind of pulling back the curtain a little bit to some of my clients and so at times I'm a little bit anxious about it, but I hope that it helps you see what can be done and what can be accomplished with 
all different sizes of budget to bring great results to your clients. So if you haven't yet already, please consider subscribing and I look forward to catching you in the next video.